Tuesday. Good evening, everyone. Hey. It is the 19th of March, and I just realized this today. What is it? Uh, we're four years or three years into what was the first lockdown oh. in my in, in in the years that I've been living. It was my first ever lockdown, my first ever pandemic, and I don't want to I don't want to be in another pandemic ever again. But March 16th, 2020 was the day that we all shut down, which was three days ago. Everyone forgot. It was a Sunday here, so we couldn't announce it. But three days ago, three years ago... Everything changed. A lot changed. Yeah. A lot changed. So we lost a couple of people uh, on radio. Uh, people gained careers online. People learned how to bake. People learned how to cook. Uh, people pivoted from from working from home... To, to being masters at at Zoom and uh, Zoom working, jacks. We, yeah, Zoom jacks. Yeah, it became a, <laughs> there, a there, different. Was, there was a trend for real quick. You're like, well, what's this Zoom jacks? Damn. Goodness but uh, I mean, it's it's weird, is because when you think about it, is that how the the whole world just shut down. Well, we thought I thought it was gonna be three months. I, I, you yeah, because I remember like uh, I think we did a. Do you, you guys were asking it's like what, on the scale of one to ten, what's your what's your thought about you know how bad is this gonna be? I remember I was the only one that well, that was the high the high times. Yeah, I said I think I was a six. Yeah, and I was like I don't know. I was like an eight or nine, and then Gina was maybe like a five. And then people were thinking like, oh, you know, it's maybe two weeks. Two weeks, uh, we'll be good. But I'm I'm glad that Zoom uh, shot up, and uh, it was the best for for some of us. For for most, it it was life changing, and some of us are still uh, recuperating losses or even family members. You know, mm-hmm. not not everyone um, uh, went through the pandemic and 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 uh, went got a W, got a win. Um, many of us lost loved ones, and it was a it was a uh, a stressful yet unpredictable time. People fell in love, people fell out of love. Uh, I, I'm still single all throughout all. Uh, hey, so congr- which, congratulations! Which, I, I mean, I, you're, you're I, unscathed. I think I was thriving. I think I thrived. I think I was preparing all those years of uh, being single for that for those. Two years of, well, six months of solitary confinement, right? Remember EGCQ? Yeah. EGCQ? Then and, and, then, and then everyone needed a pass to, like, just get to... Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Get to the supermarket. I remember, like, Oof. going in the morning over at SNR in Alabang. 
And then people would line up maybe around 6 a.m. That was it. That was the end of the world. 6 a.m. And then and then what oh. happened is they would open up at 9. And then at 9, you know, everyone wearing their PPEs, their face shields, uh, face masks. You're just like, damn. Yeah, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna die by COVID. That was. I, that wasn't my plan. And you, like, you, you were kind of scared to, you know, just being this close to people, like in the, like at the grocery. And then you're like, ooh, okay. Yeah. You just yeah, waited. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, I, I had the mask, the face shield, the PPE. So I was like, oh my gosh, if it's my time, it's gonna be my time because I was <clears throat> so careful with alcohol. I think. I don't know how many gallons of alcohol. I even had the industrial. I bought the industrial uh, oh, the, the, vaporizer. The sprayer? Yeah, 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 the sprayer thing. We're talking about yeah. the the industrial one. Yeah. We're not talking about the little mini ones like yeah. the vape that you buy at the, oh, yeah, the, the, at the like, store. Like the little miss? No, 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 no. I oh. ordered mine in. Oh. So this is like something that they use at the farm for like fertilizer. Oh, yeah. Right? It's huge. It's huge. Like, you, you no. need two hands to hold it. <laughs> and I live in a 149 square meter place. <laughs> but don't you still need and, two hands to hold it, hold it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a different thing. <laughs> that has nothing to do with COVID. I was just saying, still need two hands, okay? Always use two hands. Always use hands. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I was so... I, at one point, I, I was like paranoid. I was like, shoot. Okay. You remember when wipe, wipe everything down. Yeah. I wiped everything down. Now that my steering wheel has no actual yung balat ng mm. steering wheel ko, wala na. The leather steering wheel I had, it's gone. It, it's a, due to the the alcohol. I don't think it's alcohol. It's the the spray. The I had, oh, the, the other spray. The yes. The it, other it, dis- disinfectant. It wasn't alcohol I was using for that. It uh, was uh, uh, like the the harsher disinfectant. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you remember. How when we would see people, you wouldn't even do like a fist bump. You just like elbow. Just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Elbow. Yo, don't, <laughs> Yo. Don't, don't touch me. You got cooties. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to get COVID from you. And anytime that anyone coughed. <laughs> what? Who, what <laughs> someone went. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> people that. were like, oh, my God. You got COVID. Slick's got a cough now. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn. We oh. got to run away. If that was during COVID time, I was like, "Oh, yo, get out, bro." Uh, but I mean, I think it was it, it definitely was for real. A lot of people obviously say that COVID was just you know conspiracy theories, but uh, there's so many theories behind the whole uh, virus and 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 the pandemic when it comes to vaccines, when it comes to the face shields, uh, the, the mask, the mask. Uh, the kind of mask. Oh, you gotta wear N N95. N95. You can't wear that one. Oh, you got to change it every day. Oh, it, it's dirty. And or, or, or also, man, I, I, you remember people wearing it below the nose? Yes, that one pissed me off. <laughs> right, but at the end of the day, now we don't even give a care. Right now yeah. we don't even. Yeah, you don't care. We don't care. You don't care. We don't care if someone's coughing behind us. No, but you remember how how the, there are people leveled up. They, you know, some people had the N95s. Yeah. But then all of a sudden they they had the the ones that the doctors use, oh, the, the the one with the little fan with, with the <laughs> and the, the tube. tube. Yeah, I, you know where I see that a lot. Going to China, uh, going to China, mm-hmm. I see a lot of them have it. Uh, I've seen the most ever going was, to- was when I was going to China. A lot of them have the. It's like a respiratory. Yeah. It it it's like a filter. It, it's Mask basically filter. a f- filter. But then a lot of doctors that. Uh, um, especially, I know OBs. I they, see they, they were they, they were using that one. There's a few doctors that have it, um, and uh, I don't know if it's, you know, uh, what's the percentage of it protecting us from COVID. No, but then what was weird is that I'd see like some some ladies they they would have it, yeah, and, and then they'd be talking to their amiga. That was say pull down the mask. <laughs> <laughs> they, keep, they keep talking blah 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 blah. That was they put it back on. Yeah. I was like, what's the point? Well, well, the amigas sometimes you get to that point where the titas and titos can't hear each other with the mask. <laughs> so you you end up they end up pulling down their mask just to. But wasn't there like one that had like a speaker? There was like a speaker system. I think that was, but I don't think that was for COVID. I think that was a mask just 
Just uh, so, so so that people can hear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, the, yeah you the, remember that? The the efficacy of you of that protecting you from COVID. I doubt it. So that just people hear you, and then people came yeah. up with those masks where where it's like a smile, and you're like, are they wearing a mask? And then the black ones came out, right? The, the, I like the black, the, the black ones. Yeah. The beige, the all different colors. So oh. those, those were nice. Well, that was three in three days, three years ago, right? Am I right? 2020? Uh, 2020? 2020. 2020 was, 2020. yeah. But basically four years ago. But we're going on our fourth year. My gosh. But we do have a special guest. Yes. Uh, <laughs> she's uh, she's a here. very she, she got here early. I, I, I knew her when she was 13. I didn't know her, but I knew of her when she was 13 years old. So... I, I couldn't believe my eyes. And I think I remember the first time that we guested her, she was on Zoom. And then I think you asked me, wait, isn't this, isn't she a little girl? Yeah. Because I go, no, no, I, no, the name. I go, this is for Viva Max. No, 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 it can't be. And then all of a sudden when you came on camera, like, Tony's like, oh. That's her. It's her? That's She's the, not a little girl? The voice, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, for ladies and gentlemen, we have actress, singer, songwriter, host, uh, model. Uh, she is. Uh, You've seen her in movies, series, oh and gentlemen, definitely. You have seen, seen her, her in, in your dreams. dreams. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on Boys Night Out. Atosco Mercado. Hi. Hey. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Okay. Finally live. Look <laughs> so at that. Fun. <laughs> How are you doing on the show? Wait, what you, what's it's up? It's the iconic song. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I have to play it for you it, because it, it's, it's only it's, proper. It's, mm-hmm. it's the Viva Max uh, anthem. <laughs> I am very excited to be here. Like it's, my, it, this is your first time, right? Yeah, uh, like here in okay. the studio. Okay, great. I feel like my tween and teenage self is like fangirling right now. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, cause like I've always listened to magic. Yeah. And you were always into music, right? Yeah, that, that, yeah. That's how I first discovered you. Was, mm-hmm. uh, as you, as I said, you were 13, 14 years old, singing, uh, for the voice, and that's why I was like, wait. Did she act now? No way. <laughs> he's like, he was like, no, no, no. This can't be the same one that I know of. Is because a lie, Because because we we were messaging. He's like, no, no, no. It can't be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the name, there's only one name. That's. Mm-hmm. I mean, who else has the name Atasca, right? Which is is that a a short version of something else? Well, or? No, um, it's just a different spelling. Because when I joined the Voice. Um, Mr. M was like, oh, we should change the spelling of your name okay. to just Atasca. Like A-T-A-S-K-A. Because originally my voice is... Uh, my, um, name. my name is spelled um, A-T-A-S-C-H-A. C H A. C. Atascha. Yeah. yeah. Atascha. Okay. So we like, okay. changed it to Atasca. Which has a different cool. ring to it. And whatever Mr. M says... Mm-hmm. You just go. You do it. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> like yeah, when, when, that in that aspect of saying, you know, change your name, you know. And, you know, it's stuck. It's one of those things where, okay. All right, like, you're the only one here. And there's only one Mr. M. Whenever he says, touch his gold, right? <laughs> right? If he sees you and he says this, you do that. He says, jump, you jump. <laughs> Although, after that, um, I signed with Viva. <laughs> and then from there, that's, that's how you started your whole Viva career. Yeah. And it wasn't yet movies, right? You you said you were in VJing yeah, for their channel, um, for their I local did, channel. I did um, I did music first. Okay. Actually, um, I was a recording artist, mm-hmm. so I released um, some singles, music videos, and then I was part of some TV series as well um, with Viva. On their Viva channel, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I became a VJ for some time, and I was really happy with that job because. I love music okay. and I love talking <laughs> and um, so I, it was like this perfect combination of the stuff that I love and also fashion as well because like um, they dress that's, you a, up. that's a part of it so yeah, yeah. I was really happy with that and then a pandemic happened and I so how many years were you doing the VJ thing before I the think pandemic almost three years three years yeah. so around 2017 like 2018 
Oh, no, 29. Oh, 2018. 2018. Yeah. Okay, so for two and a half years, you were doing the whole VJ, and then COVID comes and just yeah, turns what the it, world upside down. What did you do? Uh, <laughs> during the pandemic? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like, so much happened. Yeah. Um, I feel like... Um, yeah, during that time, I was like really trying to build up my social media. Mm-hmm. So I posted like covers on YouTube and like. Oh, that's right! You started stuff. chopping up songs. Yeah, com- yeah I yeah, did yeah. like fun little covers on my YouTube channel and like uh, I practiced like editing videos. Um, yeah, you can see all of that like on my channel. Still. Yeah, you picked up that skill. Yeah, and it was it was really fun doing that, um, and I also learned how to. Like properly, like write. I mean, write songs. I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I wrote some more, and I also learned the ukulele. Um, and that was a time when I like chopped my hair off, like really short. Yeah, like really short okay. for the first time ever in my life because I've always had like really long hair. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, like one day I just, I just felt like hmm, I need a change, and so I cut my hair and I. F- like at that time, I felt like it was like the best decision of my life because I felt like it was I, freedom. I was a new person. So yeah. this was twenty. Like a Tosca two point oh. Twenty twenty. Uh, twenty twenty one. Okay. I think yeah, twenty twenty one. And then you decided, okay, I gotta chopping my hair off mm-hmm. and, and then, take off um, my clothes. <laughs> Well, we're getting there. Um, so I. We gotta fix the timeline now. Okay, we're fixing. <laughs> and chopping after, your hair. After that, I was able to um, host um, like Zoom press cons okay. for Viva's films, um, and most of them, well, like almost all of them, were for Viva Max. Um, and so I was able to like interview and to host these press cons. Um, yeah, and get to know like the actors and the directors, and like ask the press questions. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, it was really fun because okay. me, the like, guy, really enjoy that. Um, um, I, I love talking. Hmm. <laughs> I cannot shut up. No, which is good. <laughs> you, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna time slot? <laughs> well, we, we got some open ones. We, uh, <laughs> there's a five. There's a four to five p.m. slot that. If no you can just has. give it like an hour. Okay, I play now. So, oh. yeah. so yeah, actually, it, <laughs> actually, it it start. It, you could start at three to six. Ooh. <laughs> p.m. At least you get three hours. Look at that. That's fun. Three p.m. Three to six is is open. Because Tony, he has a program that he can, uh, <laughs> you know, just in case he has a mentorship program. Three so to six. He'll take care of you. <laughs> Teach you the board. Teach you, you know. It's it's a, it's a, it's an open slot right now. So Ooh. Yeah. just in case, just, I, put, if, just put it in out there. Keeping that in mind. If you're not shooting and uh, just around, enjoying, yeah, yeah, you're just around. Okay, so so the timeline. <laughs> oh, back to the timeline. Yeah, timeline. You chopped your hair. You uh, were doing all the, the yeah, interviews. Was, yeah, and then I put. Po- yeah, I uh, and then at one point I was like. Um, I was like thinking about my career because me, I've always really wanted to get into acting because that's like my dream mm-hmm. is to be like known this is, as an actress. For those that don't know, before the whole voice thing, mm-hmm. you were with trumpets, right? Oh, yeah, you, I did some theater. When you I did was theater work. As well. So even even younger younger than thirteen years of age, you're already mm-hmm. sort of acting already, yeah. right? Oh, and I, I was also in um, my last like theater project was in Annie. <laughs> You're from Swords World. You were uh, you were Annie. Yeah, I watched Annie. Really, which yeah. one? Um, I was Pepper. Shh. I was one of the orphans. Shoot, it's been so long. <laughs> it's been a while back. You probably watched us, yeah. Yeah, and I was invited. I remember that's. I think those are that and there's only a few mm-hmm. uh, plays I watch or musicals in Resorts World. Um, so that was one of them, Annie. Mm-hmm. You were there? Which yeah, one? I was... Because since I was, like, the oldest kid in the cast, I was already, like, a teenager at that time. Mm-hmm. I was playing um, the bully, Pepper. So I was, like, picking on all the kids. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, that was such a fun experience because, yeah, I love theater so much. It's, like, on a different level. And then, and then so fast forward to fast 2020. Forward. <laughs> You cut your hair. Mm-hmm. You did Viva Max Zoom press cons, mm-hmm. and that's um, when you yeah, got the epiphany that you wanted to be in, be in the movies. <laughs> well, yeah, cause like, well, I did like some research 
Wow, research. <laughs> uh, <yep>. Really? <laughs> research. <laughs> Wait, what kind of research is this? Oh, well, you know, just watching Viva Max. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just pick a random one? Hey, this one uh, has a cool... I like this title. No, I because of me, you know, I, I want to like... I wanted to see... But I, I saw it as an opportunity. Okay. Um, like for my acting career. And I, I, I discussed it with my parents, which sounds really weird, I know. Because, like, I'm an only child and I'm, like, really close with my parents. And, like, they're very supportive of my career. So everything um, I go through, like, I... Shemper, they're involved. And I, of course, I, asked, I, I talked to my mom about it first. And, like, at first she was like, hmm, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, she was kind of like... Of course, she, she found that weird at first. Yeah. But, like... Um, she understood and then I talked to my dad about it and like as a family like we were like okay and they were like really supportive and they were like whatever your decision is like we support you because if that's what you think is going to be helpful for your career then we support you and I really appreciate it. How come they're so open with that? I, well, I mean, I mean they're, are, they're, they, are they also in the industry or has this has your uh, communication between you and your parents have been always open to the point where uh, the trust has been yeah. that solid where Viva Max, okay, we trust you. Yeah, because uh, well, my parents, they're not um, they're not in like the acting industry or okay. the music mm. industry, but they're also artists. Um, they're okay. interior designers. Okay, yeah. All yeah. right. Um, Alayo, huh? But Alayo. Still, art still artists. <laughs> still in, artists, but, yeah. but in a sense where it's it's on a in a different form, mm -hmm. but they've always supported me because it's a career. Like ever since I was a kid, because mm. they knew that what I really wanted to be like ever since I was a kid was to be like a in star the, in, the in the entertainment entertainment okay. industry. All right. Um, and yeah, when we discuss this whole thing, this Viva Max thing, how, how does how does a child, or let's say, well, you're you were of legal age, right, mm, at yeah. that time, uh, which is four years ago. How do you sit down with mom and dad? Hey, mom, dad, uh, I'm gonna do Viva Max. <laughs> or was it like, or hey, did, mom, this dad. was a couple years ago, lang <clears throat> naman, um, the decision to Viva Max. Um, but it took a very long time. Na parang, was it over breakfast that led to dinner? No, we had like um, discussions okay. about uh, it. Na parang, hmm, should we like really like. Okay, Let so we like, like small the discussions and yeah. then here and there. Yeah, and like leading up to me talking to Boss Vic about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And so I had like a lot of meetings then with Boss Vic about it. Because it, cause it, for me, Boss Vic is like a dad. Yeah. Um, I feel like Viva sees me as their baby girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so when I talked to Boss Vic about it, even him couldn't believe my decision. He was like, are you sure? When I got the text in the group <laughs> chat, I was like, no, that's not her. <laughs> it's not impossible. Can't be her. And so Boss Vic said, don't worry, we'll take care of you. Well, yeah, at first he was like, really, are you sure about this? Okay. And even like called in like Boss Vincent and stuff. And he, they were like, are you sure? <laughs> So they were really caring and really um, supportive. Supportive and like really asking me if this is what I wanted. And mm. like they also asked me like why would I want to do this? And like I explained to them like I think it will be helpful for my career. And like since I've all like they know me, na parang I really want to get into the industry. And I'm really happy that um, they're very supportive. And they, they never, trust me and they believe they me. They never at one point during during that whole time that, that you guys were going back and forth whether you should do this at maybe they should create another music channel just for you. <laughs> and, and 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 But uh, at least you, you have a and try you to have revive, that job. try to revive what they had before. Prior to the pandemic with the music channel and and the whole VJ thing and and maybe do Live, maybe have a, I guess a live show, in terms of that I don't know. A live streaming since it was it, it became popular right during the yeah. pandemic. We had Kumu, we had uh, TikTok Live, we had IG. I mean everything was live because mm -mm. everything was online. But yeah. uh, obviously now things are different. Mm -hmm. So, but okay. So you finally are, are speaking to Vin Boss Vincent and Boss Vic mm -hmm. of Eva, and they said, okay, this is what was your. F your first movie was was it Bisho? Was it? Uh no, it's Buga. Buga. Oh. <laughs> wow. Grabe yung title na. Ano pa? Pero 
I got, like, okay, so how was your reaction when, okay, they, they passed you the script, like... Okay, this oh, I was really excited because this was a director that I really admired. Okay. Mm. It was Direct Yam Naranas. Mm. Oh, Direct Yam. Yeah. Okay. And um, before I watched, ano eh, I watched Balahibong Pusa. Ah, okay, mm. yeah, yeah. Really yes. good movie. Um, a classic. Um, that's, and that's old school, man. I know. <laughs> I'm a cinephile. <laughs> Yo, nice. <laughs> I don't think she I, enjoyed it. Okay, you weren't very good. born yet when that came out. Well, as I said, I had to like research okay. the uh, for yeah. like Viva Max. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, so that's what you meant by research. Yeah, I, I you went through the archives. Mga films, talaga. And I was really happy that my d- first project was with Direct Gam, and the material was like really interesting and something. Um, Something I wanted to do because it was kind of like, in a way, a revenge thriller. Mm-hmm. Well, you picked kind the right of. movie. I mean, if you're going to pick anyone in the industry back in the day, at the top of her career in the 90s, Joy Jimenez, Jay Manalo, that's, that's, during the 90s, that was probably... That was like the top. Everyone... Everyone fantasized about her. <laughs> what was it? Fantasia ng Bayan? Uh, that was, I think, was Ina Raimundo, Pantasha na Bayan. Uh, I think Joyce was something else. She's yeah. really good. Oh, she's really good. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah. funny, I worked with Kuya J mm-hmm. in this movie, and he was the guy who kidnapped me. And, you know. Uh, <laughs> did you tell him that you watched his. Yeah, I did. I said okay. I was a fan. It was funny. Um, How was his reaction? He <laughs> was like. <laughs> what's your what's your year? <laughs> uh, but no, it was like a really. Um, was it a surreal moment na, that you were working with him? Yeah, and also like during our the entire shoot, I felt like that was. I always describe it as like a spiritual experience because when I was doing the shoot, I was that was like the first time I was. Um, it was like a lock in because mm-hmm. that was. Um, I'm usually always with my parents, but during that lock-in shoot, um, I was like out of town, away from my parents, and I was only with my co-stars and okay. like the whole prod. Um, and I had to be independent for a bit, and I was like doing all these like heavy scenes and stuff, and like there were when you times mean, when you say heavy scenes, like drama. Oh, okay, drama. drama, not not intimate. I mean, there were. You know, like so, nuances, scenes. So nuances of of drama, but then intimate. Yeah, there were like intimate s- drama, sensitive. heavy drama with. Yeah, but like here, because it's a movie, it wasn't like a love scene, but it was more on like abuse, because okay. like my character was like kidnapped and stuff That's like right, that. Right. It was out. crazy, um, but it was. I know <laughs> this sounds so bad to say, love, but it was fun to like do that character because it. In, like as an actor I really I re- that's the thing I love about acting is we get to um, play such like different characters yeah. mm. every time well, it, it, it'll test your skill set right? yeah it, it, you know I mean that's I think that's why people love the the, the craft the medium uh, of, of TV movies is you never know what script you're gonna get and then you can play around with it mm-hmm. and and some improvise or some actually really get into it right mm-hmm. uh, are you maybe there's two types of actors what's your your method yeah method? what's your method um that's what I've been, like that's what I'm lately parang medyo nakukuha ko na I guess I mm-hmm. hope I'd hope so cause I've done I just finished shooting a movie recently okay. that I really really love and I'm so excited about Are you about allowed to say the title? Not. Not yet? I'm not yet. I might come back here okay. to promote yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it a yeah, drama, action? It's a comedy drama. Okay. Wow. Oh. Coming of age, friendship, but still sexy. And okay. Very yeah. sexy. Um, yeah. But again, like from all like the projects I've done, I'm so happy that I was able to do like such different roles, and I was able to like discover what my parang way of acting is. Cause I, ako I, hindi naman talaga. Like I still don't know if like I'm a good actress. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like in every project that I do, I keep getting better and better. Like I keep doing my best. And everything that's mm. given to me. Do you guys have workshops? Um, um, I know there's 
workshop before, right? There Sometimes a run through. There's a, yeah. There's basically a run through with the with with your co-actors and and the director and scriptwriter. But prior to that, do you guys take workshops just like to, outside? Just to develop mm, one skill set. I haven't okay. yet. Um, but like you know, I spent most of my life in theater, mm-hmm. <laughs> so that was really helpful. But I've we've also done some workshops like specifically for those projects. Like for example, when I did Halo Halo X with Derek Roman, okay, Roman Perez Jr. Um, oh, that we was did, that that series was was good. Thank you. Uh, we did annoy. We did some intimacy workshops, so that was like really. Yeah. It was a different type of ano. Na parang we had to. Yeah, we had like these exercises, para hindi kami ma-ilang, okay. like on set. Um, Is it ilang? Obviously, you're very close with your parents, and I think a lot of our listeners uh, were were okay with watching, you know. Uh, but it's different when it's a family member. <laughs> That's why I don't make them watch my stuff. Okay, so they, oh, okay, so they've never seen that's it. That's uh that's. Well, my mom has seen some of it, but like we just laugh. <laughs> like I, she doesn't. Of course, I don't. Your mom laughs at the at the scenes. No, we like laugh together because it's awkward. Yeah. Like oh, watch yeah, those yeah. types of scenes. Like sometimes I'll just show her a glimpse, and then she's like, "Oh no." <laughs> she's the one that says, "Oh gosh." Uh-huh. Yeah, because of course she's my mom. Okay. Siempre, she's still. I'm her baby. So, so. For, so from the family, how about your your friends? I mean, the friends that. Oh name. my God. How, how how was their reaction? Was it like, I have some friends, like guy friends, who've like seen my stuff and like, hey. 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 <laughs> Remember me. <laughs> We oh were, my god, I have a funny story. Do you have a guy like that that said, hey, you remember me? No, no, what? no. I had this, like, classmate from grade school. Mm. I was, like, browsing on Letterbox. Do you know that app where people, like, log movies? Mm. Letterbox? Yeah. But so it's this, like, movie review It's like site. IMDb? Yeah, some, something like that. Okay. And then um, one of my grade school classmates, like, gave me a bad review. What? Ah, okay. Yeah. How, how'd you find out it was him? No, it was his full name. <laughs> oh, okay. Genius. Okay. And then I messaged him. I was like, hey, dude. Um, I was like... Why'd you give me that review? <laughs> yeah, and it was like really funny and awkward. He was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. But like, I just messaged him because I thought it was funny. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I know him. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was someone I didn't know, but like, I knew this guy. So yeah. it was, was it like, a really bad, funny. bad review or was it a very constructive kind of review? It was kind of constructive, but it's kind of kasar lang din. Because ah. like, if you know someone, and then like, yeah, parang, it, parang why would you? Parang write it hurts it down. a little bit more now. If it was just someone else, then I don't care. But yeah. what kind of review was it? Was it like to just knock you down, or mm. was it was it your acting? No, or, it was or? his opinion, the man. Ah. What was it? Well, I don't on, on specifically the, the, about the, my the, acting. Okay, so just in the about the movie in general. Oh, just the movie. Uh, so yeah. not your acting. Yeah. So it was more of the, I guess, the storyline. Yeah. And then obviously it comes comes with the territory. You're in Viva Max, and then. You know, the, the guys that uh, message you, DM you. H- how's that? Is it funny? I mean, uh, is there a balance there? I mean, I get, like, weird message requests, of course. <laughs> um, but... What are some of the weird ones? Oh, God. I, I don't think I could, like, say it on air. <laughs> but, like, yeah, there are weird ones. But then there are nice ones. Well, so well, like, 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 when you say weird, it's it's... Is it sexual? Yeah. Uh, it's like so, super so like, weird. So like videos of you doing something? Indeed, man. Your feet? Armpits? Oh, uh, no. Send me a picture of your hands not, or something not, like that. Not, <laughs> not fetishes, no man. Oh, I, that happened before I was in Viva Max. Like one time, some Italian guy was like, ooh, bellissima. And then wow. he was like, send me pictures of your feet. <laughs> You should have said, I'll send you pictures, give me a thousand dollars. It's so funny. They, yo, some people make money off. Yeah, them. that's that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's uh OnlyFans, you know. <laughs> Elua, you know. That's, uh, that's how they do it now, but so, I mean So basically you've gotten indecent proposals. Yung lang. Okay. Yeah. Random random like people. Like just random people yeah. I don't know. But then and I don't respond to them. But they're nice. Uh, of course, nice yeah. Messages. And I'm happy I get like nice messages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like, like comments as well. Great acting. Just watched you. 
<laughs> Great scene. Awesome. Yeah. I like it. Yo, five uh, stars. 12, in the 12 minute, heart 36 heart. seconds, the heart best. Heart. <laughs> heart, heart. Oh, you looked amazing. Oh, yes. That's, uh, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, uh, I mean, at least you're you're able to filter out, you know, some mm-hmm. of the bad ones with the good ones yeah. and everything. So, so, what what's your dream role? <gasps> dream role. Yeah, that's something like okay. Viva says, you know what? Go. This is this is your chance. Whoever you want to work with, whatever kind of storyline you want, go. What, what? I honestly want to do a musical. Oh. <laughs> On Viva Max. What kind? Like it doesn't have a to sexy be like musical. yeah, sexy musical. Oh, that could be a world's first. Like I have like this storyline in mind where like the guy is in a band and like I'm also into music or something like that. You and know. Then you guys are just singing back and forth. Yeah. Kind of like a Star Is Born. Star you know? Born. Yeah. But like make it sexy and uh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. I right? mean, I, I'm sure uh, someone will write the script for you. I mean, the idea is there. I mean, just as long as they sit down with you. Well, since you write music, maybe you can write the script. That's also a dream. Actually, like, what a dream of mine is to, like, really... I, I really want to get into filmmaking. Ah. Yeah. Other than, like, my acting career. Ah. Uh-huh. So behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Well, like, there you go. as like, a writer, director. Director. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay, not a lot of people would know about that, but that's nice. But you are here to, to promote uh, a movie, but then we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Let's uh, play a song, commercial. Or? Yeah, let's get to a, a song with uh, Justin Timberlake. Ooh. And more with Atasca right after this. You got Boys Night Out, Magic 89.9. Tony, Slick, Gino, and Tin. Boys Night Out, Magic 89.9. All right, welcome back. Boys night out. We still got Tasca. She's here. Hi. For those that don't know, she's uh, with Viva Max. And, uh, Hello. Uh, yes, she was that little girl on The Voice, <laughs> for those that didn't know. Uh, but she's all grown up now, and uh, she's got a new movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's coming out on Friday? I, it's already out. It's already oh, out? Mm-hmm. Okay, so tell us about it. It's called Mapanokso. Okay. What does um, that mean? Oh, know. That's the like direct uh, translation of that. Parang uh, <coughs> nakaka ano? Eh. Um, sinful? Sin- yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Along the lines Because originally of- our movie was supposed to be called Sin City. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, and the movie centers around these five uh, matcha dancers of this like private uh, club. Okay, so um, it revolves around uh, a yeah. male, a male. Uh, what is it? Macho? What? Yeah, like what sexy it? dancers. Kind of mm-hmm. like Magic Mike. Magic Mike. Oh. Magic. Yeah. So it's like a Magic Mike kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And your um, character is? <laughs> My character is Tanya. And I'm this like rich, manipulative, um, wild girl who has a boy toy in the den. The den's the name of the club there. Ah. Um, and Did you have to do any kind of research for this on how... Uh, the the world of macho dancing and <laughs> and, and uh, is it sugar mommy, sugar baby, sugar babes? Yeah, it's like kind of my role was kind of like that, but um, um, I guess I took inspiration along from like characters who were really mean. <laughs> so kind of like I guess if you think of my character, she kind of is. You know, um, the girl from Cruel Intentions? Okay. Catherine? Yeah. 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 That's her vibe. Okay. Kind of. So bitchy. Bitchy. Very aggressive. Uh-huh. Yeah. Alpha, alpha female. Yeah. So that was my character. Um, and so um, basically this movie is about the lives of these men. And like, iba-iba kasi yung mga pinagdadaanan nila. So for me... Um, the character, like the the guy who I'm like paired with in this movie, his character is he's kind of like the parang siyempre pinaka ano talaga dun, uh, match dancer. Parang he's very 
I know, in his job, like he's really passionate. He's Kaso, so he's he's very in a way, parang mayabang na siya. Oh, so he's, he's the best. Like, so so he's like, you know, I got this. Yeah, I got this. He's like, no. Kaso, so there's like this fresh and young fresh new guy who came in. So he's kind of you know insecure. Oh. So it's it's that type of thing. Um, and then there are the other characters. Um, the main character actually is Sean's character, Sean de Guzman's character, and um, is that who you? No, um, yung sa akin is kay Ethan, uh, Marco Gomez and Ethan okay. Rosales. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is starring the VMX Five. They're an actual group, like in real life. No. Who dances at Viva Cafe? Um, wait, wait, <laughs> wow. wait, 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 wait. So, wait. so they're okay. So Rewind they're not just that. actors, but you know, this is like yeah, a, they have an a group. Act. Yeah. Wait, they're macho oh. dancers in real life. They're even macho dancer, but they do sexy dances. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, they're called what? Uh, VMX5. VMX5. Yeah. Okay, oh, so this is like the Honks 2.0. Yeah. Interesting. So, um, yung character naman ni Sean, um, yeah, he's going through a lot because parang he really did that job for his family and stuff like that. And okay. Then, um, so I out, guess, of, out of need. Yeah, so yung parang yung character niya, um, he's the one who took in Ethan's character, uh-huh. the young, fresh meat guy. Uh-huh. Um, and then he took him into the den to parang, hey, you should work here, gang gang, because it reminded him of his brother who passed away, who was also in that job. Wait, so, the guy reminds him of his dead brother? Yeah. So he brings him into the den? Mm-hmm, to wow. help him. I know, it's very complex. But, like, if you watch the movie, there's, like, so many issues that are being okay. tackled. Because, like, you'll see, like, the struggles of these men, like, within their industry and within the job that they're doing. Um, and I think it's really interesting because when you see the trailer, it's like, ooh, you, you think it's just, like, a Magic Mike yeah. Filipino version. But really, I love how our movie is like talking about so many different things and like struggles that even men face. So the f- but there's so more the f- to it. So, yeah, each guy to has it. so each guy has their own parang, okay. I guess bubog or like yeah, has their own thing battles. that they're going through. Yeah. Okay. And, and you're there to pick up one of them. I'm there to be a bitch. Oh. <laughs> I ruined the life joke lang. <laughs> so you're, you're there to ruin their lives. You know what? I'm going to derail you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Life is not going to happen for you. But yeah, so since... Yeah, yeah, like iba-iba yung characters, iba-iba din yung like sexy scenes as well that we see. So like there's a lot of um, options yeah. for the Viva Max viewers. <laughs> That's what we want options. Yeah, so you and I think it's a perfect balance cuz like, you know, there is a story, but there's also lots of sexiness to it. Okay, so, so actually it looks like there's a lot going on there with each and every character. Yes, there's yes, a, there's I like, like it. They got, uh, they got their own little side stories. As I was saying, so yung isa parang yung partner niya may sugar daddy. Mm. Tapos yung isa naman, yung partner niya hindi alam na may asawa na siya, ganon. Uh, and yun nga, parang yung main character yung kay Sean, his dream talaga is to be a chef. Um, but he got into that job and stuff like that. But it looked like he was cooking. So. <laughs> I, I he, want, he's, he was doing it well. I wanted to be a matcha dancer. I ended up being a DJ, so... But I, I can, it's not too late. But you can still dream, my friend. <laughs> I, I went by earlier. I went by mankind and and uh, gigolo. <laughs> Did you send in your uh, application? No, no, His no. His audition it, tape. It, it opens late. <laughs> they open late. They're still closed. When I went by this morning. So after this, you will. Audition. Okay, he's like send the video na lang. <laughs> so I went by there. Oh. That's my picture, ba? <laughs> no, it's a video. It's a video. Video yan. Oh, gigolo. <laughs> so I am. Ah, okay. So you should have come by the den. So it's they already make, out now. The, it's out. It's yeah. Out. They okay. make at least a good thirty k, forty k, fifty k, in the one time. Sometimes one night. Yeah, as you saw us with like trailer, they yeah, were talking they, about it as well, in like the mm. movie. I mean, it's it's not bad, right? Considering you do a nine to five. What's that? Minimum wage here is what? Fifteen k now. Fifteen, 15 to, twenty. My gosh. So if you, get, da- if you give that one night, hey, a little dancing here and there, obviously. A little thrust, thrust. If you don't mind the market. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. mm. So the name of the the title is. Mapanokso. Mapanokso. Yeah. yeah. Mapanokso. 
Nice. So, uh, so out now. It's like interesting too. Like our director was talking about the movie during the press con. That parang na inspired din siya sa story ni Icarus. Okay. And like the fall of Icarus. The fall. Yeah. So if you watch the movie with that in mind, it's gonna make sense. Mm. Like towards so the there's, ending. Ganun. There's a deeper meaning to yeah. it. Yeah. Let's oh, see. Okay. Let's check it out. Yeah. Uh, it's already out. It's, mm-hmm. it's showing already on uh, Viva Max. And, he is. Um, so fun. <laughs> where, where did you guys shoot this movie? Uh, we did the scenes um, in yeah, so Viva Cafe, some okay. of them. He's I forgot like, it. He's like, so where's this den? Uh, it's in Viva Cafe. <laughs> so they set it up as as the den. Yeah, right? Panuari the den. Yeah. Um, pero, oh my God, I forgot where we shot na the, the other scenes, like in my house, in my mansion. <laughs> Could you ever see yourself being the more dominant one in a relationship? Are you, Ataska, the, the kind of oh girl God. who... Who likes to take control? <laughs> likes to take the oh, lead. That, that is an interesting question. We're not talking question. about in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. We're talking about in general. Just being a partner. Uh, you like to set. Well, set I say, am the schedule. a strong. You set the pace. Strong woman. Wow, strong woman though. But I'm very unadinkase. I'm very baby girl. Like uh, you know. So, I don't know, like, siguro when I get in a relationship, like, the most important thing for me lang talaga is, like, he should accept me for who I am and what I do. And, like, he should know that I'm very focused on my career. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I I don't, I hate fake people and I don't want to, like, change myself for you. Mm. You know, that type of thing. <laughs> stay single, stay single. <laughs> I'm telling you now. And then that's that's like my thing. Eh? Like when you're in a relationship, you both have to understand each other. Remember, there are things, Sigur, like little things. Trust me. That you will change there are for each other. That when you get into Pero, one, the rules as you go along. <laughs> the rules change. But I don't want to like lose myself just because of somebody. You know. Yeah, that's why I said focus, mm-hmm. focus, career, and then. But you can enjoy nice. that. Li- you can enjoy later that later on. on. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not saying or forever. Or when somebody comes along. Yeah, there I'm not saying go. forever. Mm-hmm. But fo- you want to attain a certain skill set, attain a certain level. Yeah. Uh, of let's say accolades, awards. Nothing can stop you. You just focus on it, mm-hmm. right? And Stick with it. And uh, yeah, I mean, also there's a three to six slot available. <laughs> That's where we're gonna stick you. Three to six. Three to six PM. Three to six PM. <laughs> just before our show. Abangan. And your dad's outside, so maybe you could just tell him right now. Does he mind taking you here? Actually. Monday, Monday to Thursday. <laughs> just tell him, you know, I got a new gig. So mm-hmm. at least it's on the side. But uh, exciting. But no. can you do an entertainment report later on in a few minutes? Yeah, yeah. why not? I'll, I'll, I'll give you a, a few things to to uh, talk about. Too I got some uh, nonsense news. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, coming up uh, with Ataska, she's gonna be uh, a task to say the entertainment Honey, report. Oh, wait, God, I say with, a task <laughs> with uh, a task a day. Uh, believe it or not, uh, Drake gave a huge amount of money. Uh, And also, someone who owes a lot of money coming up uh, big time. I don't know if they're ever going to pay this debt in their whole life. But famous singer, (gasps) Ataska, will tell you all about it in a few minutes. Stick around for that. In the meantime, we got the news. (laughs) 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 Headlines. 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 All right. Here we go. Headline. Randy the guinea pig. To father 400. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, is this the same guinea pig that got... Or is this the same story uh, as before? Th- this is another one. Holy cow. He's got 400 more now? Yeah. Now, of course, uh, they were surprised way back in 2014. But he did it again. Wow. Okay, so this is the same one. Yeah. So, <laughs> and there. Uh, Congratulations, fathering 400 more guinea pigs after he uh, broke out of his enclosure. Now, it's one That's of That's wild. They soon discovered that uh, he had streaked into the female enclosure once again, sparking an unexpected population boom. So congratulations to them for having another 400 guinea pigs. 
Wow. Randy, the guinea pig. Congratulations, Randy. And they go, news. Yeah, news. 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 Not quite the headline, headline. Headlines, headlines, headlines. We're going to take a quick one. And uh, coming up, we also have El Nael and the Entertainment Report. Stick around for more. Boys Night Out on Magic 89.9. Tony, Slick, Gino, and Tin. Boys Night Out. Magic 89.9. Today's best music, Magic 89.9. Megan Trainer, T Pain. Uh, been like this. I like that. Yeah. All right. There you go. Um, and uh, let's move on with the entertainment report. But before that, playback.tv. Uh, it's a new streaming platform where we actually get paid. So if you can. Download the app or check out the website, sign up, be part of the magic community, help us help you. Help us help us. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how this works, but apparently uh, Views. you guys yeah. sent in, uh, is it is it coins? How does it I work? Don't know. It, it's, if, if we reach a certain uh, amount of views. Okay. So they, it, it's kind of like a reward. <laughs> so we have... 321 members and we have 20 people watching us so okay so like that's 5%. good not bad i mean yesterday was 20 so at least we we got to bring that up so playback.tv um look for us and then yeah so we'll do that but now we do have uh, the entertainment report a task uh camera on oh hi <laughs> Yes. It's like uh, did you go? Yeah, it's um, uh, Manila Run. A lot of people. They did enjoyed you run? it. Yeah. So after everyone did the CrossFit uh, 24.3. Okay. Um, so that people did it on Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday was the run day. So that was the active recovery. So many people in Phil uh, Invest. Uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. So good weather too. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, thank you to our friends from the Way Acupuncture, uh, to Doc, Isa, and the rest of the staff there that's putting the chi back into my body and uh, making me feel like I'm 20 years old again. Um, Feels like you're 22? Oh, man. It's, it's like so important that to, to <laughs> the, the energy that we emit over the years, uh, the wear and tear of the stress, uh, the obviously the long nights, uh, the workload. If you are uh, highly strong with so many juggling, so many things, we tend to forget. Especially for those that work out, do, that are weekend warriors that don't get the proper recuperation in terms of rest and and um, uh, proper nu- nutrients. Uh, there are blockages within our body over the years for for our blood, and so these acupuncture is supposed to get the blood flowing all throughout the body so that we we harmonize within within society in a certain way and we vibrate uh energetically on and a good wavelength exactly so all, all our all our energy chakras and and if we have symptoms or illnesses it can spot it because the body does not lie. Yeah, that's true. So she looked at my tongue, she looked at the side of my tongue, and and, and this was like two weeks ago. So <laughs> it's kind of like it's like, can I see your tongue? Yeah, <laughs> and, and it, it, it says a lot about. Oh, uh, what a tongue! <laughs> the, the, the tongue says a lot yeah. about your sickness. Mm-hmm. If you're true. sick, all you do is take a photo. And she was a doctor in Western medicine. Um, had a private practice and decided to take up her master's in Chinese medicine which is crazy I was like you want to go back to school you just took up Western medicine now you want to take up Eastern medicine so now she's juggling both no but it's something that uh, I think a lot more people are getting into is because they understand I mean like Chinese medicine itself they, they were saying is that Man, it's on a different level, especially like, like I, I know you've been to like those old school herb stores, and then it's. Just, I find it amazing is that 
when they like all of a sudden they just go into a drawer and they get grab this and they grab something else and then they put it all together and they're like okay you have to take this and you're just like damn you know I've, I've been I've been going to her for the past three weeks and she's that's after India di- she's that, fixed that, me up that's a different level and where where's she located uh in the scout area scout limbaga every Tuesday I go <laughs> so limbaga. yeah scout limbaga somewhere around there does she have an IG uh Busta it's near the Baru <laughs> Show her your tongue. <laughs> so, Busta, so, I'm Busta, my tongge. Busta, that's yeah. near the Scout area, Barus. It's it's a tower with the. Uh, okay, let me, let, let me get the exact address for our listeners. Get the addresses there, because I think go. a lot more people they they will be interested in it. Uh, I there there were three doctors today, and it was so funny because they're they're Western doctors. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? At, at, at a, a prestigious hospital, but I can't say what hmm. they were there for. Obviously, uh, I didn't really ask, but. Uh, yeah, they said... It's a bad guy. Don't ask, don't tell. They they were... I saw their faces as they got out of the clinic. Wow. Zero medication. Yeah, that's cool. And for years, they've had... Uh, basta. Problems. Basta. Uh, Scout Limbaga. I'm right. There you go. 38 Scout Still Limbaga. Still got his memory. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's because of the acupuncture. He doesn't need the memo yeah. plus yet. Third, <laughs> third floor, 38 Scout Limbaga. I was correct. See, there you go. Quezon City, Philippines. Uh, on the corner of Scout Tobias. Right? I think, yeah. Scout Limbaga, Scout Tobias. Uh, do, they, do they have to make an appointment? Or make an appointment, yeah. Um, there's, there's four or five. Uh, they've all had their master's in Chinese medicine. They are all doctors as well. As in Western medicine. Hey, that's pretty. That's so, pretty cool. At least you get the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, they, they, they'll they'll give you the so Western if, and Eastern. If there's something that is troubling you for many years and you kind of just want to get a second, maybe a third, maybe a fourth opinion, why not? Uh, so uh, they're they're. I highly recommend them. Uh, I've known Dakisa for f- maybe. Can you get her here? Ten years, more than 10, 12 years. Can you invite her here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she's actually I invited her today. I want to do that. But she had an, an, an appointment, so um, you gotta when, come back then. You gotta come back when she comes back, so you can check her out. Yeah, since so uh, you guys exchange numbers now, so so m- Mondays. To s- <laughs> no, I don't have her number. I have her Telegram. Yeah, but still, at least the Telegram. Yeah, doesn't yeah, have, at least you got she's communication. She's smart, right? The Telegram doesn't give a number if you don't allow it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. You, so your username. That's all I have. Oh. Okay. Yeah, which you can change. <laughs> and I just changed <laughs> before you <laughs> 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 see, see, she had one of those. So, what's your telegram name? I want to think of this one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Something, yeah. something. And then we, when we heard it, they're like, but most well, <laughs> most girls though that that are around 20, 21, 20, like Naughty Riri. Uh huh. She also has an alt, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Finsta. No, I have a yeah. Finsta yeah. for my friends to like, you know, um, just post memes. Okay. And just like, it's a behind the scenes of my life. And it had the same name as my Telegram account. No. Hey, you mean? A really questionable name. Yeah. So I had to change it. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> All of a sudden you got shy. Why'd you get shy? <laughs> I, See, okay, for the listeners here, is because we uh, Tony had to pass over the entertainment news uh, to Tasca here. And then it wouldn't fit in the Instagram <laughs> message because it was too long. So I was like, you know what? Just exchange, just get her Telegram. And she's like, yeah, Telegram. And then she's like, wait, I got to change my name. <laughs> she got shy. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, hi to HR Kiko, who says Mapanukso means temptest. There we go. Temptest. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank there you, you go. So we got some people for the that accurate know. Translation. El la hey e al. Uh, it's uh, yes, frequencies. Definitely. We're talking about acupuncture earlier. Uh, check out wei dot acupuncture. Um, and uh, uh, What's that? That's tell them I sent you Instagram. Yeah, tell them the guy on, on Boys Night Out sent you to. To check them out. Okay. Give you a. Will you get a discount because. I. I <laughs> do I get a discount? Maybe. I don't. They don't charge me. I just ten percent, but though. Just, just, just go there. Just go. Just say, yo, what's the boys that out hookup? <laughs> Show me your tongue. So, <laughs> yeah. So they have a, neuro rehabilitation, secret, pain, and code. sports recovery. Yeah. So yeah. fertility. <laughs> right when you enter, there's a little peak. They have. Uh, they have very important for those that can't get pregnant. Fertility, menstrual, oh, and that's menopausal really health. Cool. Yeah. Uh, they have uh, t- traditional Chinese medicine for internal medicine for those that are 
uh, they can find out whether you your liver, your kidney, your your pancreas is weak, your stomach, your gut, gut health, uh, the microbiome. Uh, if you guys are really into it, I am. Uh, also, lack of uh, sleep, or if you got um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Insomnia. Uh, well, anxiety, anxiety but also. Uh, for those that can't sleep, it's insomnia. It's insomnia. insomnia. Yeah. Uh, uh, chronic. Oh, chronic. A chronic case of insomnia. Yeah, um, that sucks. Uh, and uh, your psyche, if 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 mental health, obviously, they can help you out there. So that's nice. Check them out, and it, it's it's quite affordable, very affordable, very affordable. All right, so here we go. We've been leading up to this uh, moment in time. This is uh, Ataska's... Uh, oh, you want me to record this? Oh, my God. Yeah, you Sorry, should. Sorry, this is like a fangirling moment. So this is going to be like her open audition to kind of like do the news. Yeah, you, you, you bombed this. Forget the three to six, okay? No! <laughs> we're, you, we're, you bombed this? You're like, you know what? Thanks for coming. No, no, no. You no come back never for, come back. Oh come, my just, just come back for your next movie, okay? You, you know, you're doing three to six in the morning. That's basically it. <laughs> you, you don't get the afternoon. You get the you get the AM slot. So uh, I'm sorry to say, but <laughs> thanks for coming out. Tell your dad to wake up at 2 a.m. He's mm-hmm. dropping you off and waiting till <laughs> 6 a.m. Uh, but uh, let's do this live. Are we gonna do this? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Am I ready? Yeah, I'm ready. you, you yeah. should be ready, is because like when because like when you talk, you like smile, so it's good. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of people will will enjoy it. So here we go. So tones, why don't right. you why don't you start up the music again? So at least you can get the feel Ooh. of it. Yeah. So go. this is me, Atasca, and here is the entertainment news. Are you ready to hear this? Yes, let's go. All right. So what do you got for us? What do you got? Drake Gibbs. All right. So Drake gave a pregnant fan twenty five thousand dollars. After she held up a sign saying, I'm five months pregnant. Can you be my rich baby daddy? <laughs> I love that. Honestly, I would do that at a Drake concert. You know what? Drake <laughs> Drake is super, um, he's nice. Like, he, he's very giving to his fans. There's, uh, I think the other time in one of his concerts he gave, like, Twenty thousand dollars to to maybe I should just go to a Drake concert and just be like, give me money. (laughs) No, but um, yeah. So Drake said, I'd love to give you twenty five thousand so you can be a rich baby mama, and that's so sweet. That's nice, but then that's gonna go. uh, That's not gonna go too far, especially when she gives birth. (laughs) <laughs> it's all gonna go away. But hey, but that's at nice. Least. At least, at least yeah. she got that. She got she got something to build on. It, it's nice because it it came from somebody that she's like she looks up to. Yeah. And it, that's really nice. Yeah. Do you need twenty five thousand mm-hmm. pesos? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. Can you hold up a sign? Yeah, ask him. <laughs> ask him dollars, man. Oh, <laughs> like pesos, not but dollars. Oh, exactly. <laughs> No. Uh, oh, here, here. Yeah, you gotta figure out you, you know, you gotta. Mm. We actually oh, have the there video. It is. Uh, Derek Alvin, can you play it? It says, I'm five months pregnant. Can you be my rich baby daddy? But <laughs> well, first of all, I don't want to offend your real baby daddy. <laughs> but. I would love to, first of all, get you out of the pit so we can put you somewhere safe like the VIP or some shit. When I start playing some of these slappers, we can't have you getting pushed around. Second of all, I'd love to give you $25,000 so you can be... Not bad. When was the last time you went to a concert and you flipped it? I'm five months pregnant. Man, that's crazy, that's though. That's wild. Okay. He's actually one of the art- artists that I'd like to see live. Drake? Yeah, Drake? Yeah, yeah. Drake, Drake, I love Drake. Drake. Drake got a lot of bangers. Like, and one of my... Well, two of my most favorite songs in the world are Passion Fruit and Hold On, We're Going Home. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good pick. Good pick, Atasca. <laughs> and what else you got for us? All right. Um. Well... There are reports saying that Bruno Mars owes fifty million dollars. Okay. But Bruno Mars doesn't owe millions in gambling debt to MGM Resorts, despite what a recent report claimed. TMZ has learned. 
And a rep for MGM Resorts International tells TMZ that the singer doesn't have a 50 million gambling tab on the books with them, even though that some recently alleged the opposite. Um, instead, MGM came to Bruno's defense, calling the allegation he owes a massive sum completely false. Wow. I mean, hmm. Maybe he does Oh, but then maybe it's not that much. Maybe it's not 50 M. Yeah, maybe They're it's not 50 making a conspiracy M. theory, right? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I mean, if there's smoke, then there there, there has to be a fire. Hmm. Um, and they probably didn't pull it out of somewhere. Probably someone said, you know, oh, he owes a lot. And then all of a sudden, it's just like, okay, they just pulled out a number. No, but, you know, because it's because they have a collaboration yeah. in the future. So, yeah, so, like, this... Um, Las Vegas Hotspot is mm. super excited to collaborate with him again in the future. Um, and what we would never know is because if they, they collaborate and he has like a what is it, a residency? Yeah. So that might, that might be the way to, to pay it off, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, because look, look how he well. charges 1.5 per show. So just about, oh, if he's they, 50. So has to do at least 50 shows. Yeah, I mean, look at Adele. She 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 has a residency, um, Celine, uh, U2. So maybe that, that's the way to pay it off, but keep it a secret-ish. But hey, that's cool. Yeah. Hey, can, good job. So hopefully Bruno can pay that off. Yeah. So what else did they say? That's it? Well, they were saying that they were like proud of their relationship with Bruno Mars because he is um, one of the most thrilling and dynamic performers in the world. Um, so yeah, from he's got like shows there mm-hmm. um, at Dolby Live at the park at MGM, and he has like this new pink earring lounge. Oh, that's at right, Bellagio. Yeah, the Bellagio. Yeah. So yeah, his brand of entertainment attracts the visitors from like around the globe. So they're like really thankful and like they're happy with their partnership, Good and it's job. like they have this rooted mutual respect. Um, so they had to say that, and. You know. <laughs> yeah, I, j- just uh, so that all the news won't go yeah. wild. There's nothing like shady. Well, everyone said yesterday though. and the day before that he was in 50 million in debt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now they're, yeah, they're like out. coming out saying it's yeah. not true. So they have a good relationship. Internet is crazy. It's yeah, wild. words get twisted. Oh my goodness. And, and stories just like it's it's a lot of click, like, clickbait out there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. Anything else? Well, she got well, that, for us. That's it. But I do have some news about me. Oh. Yeah. I have a new movie coming. <laughs> it's already out on Viva Max, and you can catch it. It's called Mabanokso. Now streaming on Viva Max. And but then you're doing Abangan, ang upcoming movies ko, very soon. And how can people follow you uh, on your socials? Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Atasca. That's verified. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Atasca Official. Um, what else? TikTok, Atasca Chloe. Um, Telegram. <laughs> Telegram. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Give the old fit stuff. Come on. Come on. No. What is it? Me. Me. All those guys behind you want to follow you on Telegram. No. Memes are like. Look at, look at these guys. <laughs> these guys are ready. They're like. Yeah. Uh, they're like Redditors oh. on the girl. They're, the- they're like sayang to. Yeah. No. Should- no. But yeah. Um. I love you, Naya. YouTube, Atasca. Spotify, Atasca. I have new songs. I have a new song coming up. Okay. What song? Abangan. What's up? What's is that the name? Or are you telling us no, to I'm wait? Like telling y'all. To oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Coming soon. Well, that, that's um, the name of the song. I, I, I'll I, give a hint though. It's, go. Um, okay, I'll give you the title of the okay. song. It's Pinakilig pero hindi ini big. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. I actually played some of it in um, B show, like on the U. Okay. But this time it's like um, the full, the full the version. Oh. Yeah. Do you have a video yet? Uh, concept. Uh, Can we be in it? Yet? Ooh, you know what? I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pinakalig, hindi ini big. Yeah. Where they, where they, where they. I kind of like that. So. I already, I already have a running theme in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of ideas. Yeah, that'll work. Do you have a director ready for that? No, not yet. Okay, okay. I, I know someone that can. Ooh, you need so a camera? Fun. Work work yeah, with you. He has a camera. A music. I, no, a, <laughs> this is his camera. Let's I'm, go. I know a music director that, that would would right. want to share a concept with you. Okay. Very What's the app off air? That sounds good. So no, but in other news, 
speaking of, because you were talking about TMZ, the other day, uh, y- you know, uh, the comedian King Bop? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, TMZ released uh, a story that his house got robbed and he lost $200,000 in cash. And, oh, yeah, I think I saw that video. Yeah, and a bunch of uh, bling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he was complaining. He's like, why is TMZ saying, if it was like, say, a white person that they would be reporting, they say $200,000 and jewelry. But then it's a it's a black guy. He goes, why are they calling it bling? And by the way, <laughs> I don't have $200,000. So whoever whoever robbed me, it's like no, not two hundred thousand. So it's just it just makes you think. It's like everything's just clickbait. Yeah. So, so it's not true. Yeah. I mean, he he posted it himself. He put it on his Instagram. He's like no. He was just making fun of the whole report. Is that if I had two hundred thousand, I'll split it with the guys that robbed me. <laughs> so it was just it was just weird. So he didn't have two hundred thousand. Oh my goodness. In the house. He should go to a Drake concert. Yeah. Oh, well, he'll get 25000 mm-hmm. At hey. least somewhere. Still, 25 is still 25 right? I mean, it's it's up there. Might as well. And there you go. Good job. <laughs> All right. Task. That's the show. We're out of here. I was so nervous. <laughs> you did well. You did well, you did well for the first time. <laughs> you did well. You, you, you held on. Right, you, you, Val? You held your... You... Right there, three to six. There you go. And that we'll was tomorrow. my audition for Magic. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Don't be late, bitch. <laughs> Three to six. She was a, she was the first one here. Three to six. I was so early. She was super early. Five? I was so excited. Five? I've waited my entire life for this oh, since you did? birth. Oh, do you want? I was listening to magic in the womb. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you want to extend till midnight? <laughs> you can, here. Take the board. You play all the songs. All right, so we'll catch you again tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Thanks, uh, Tasca, for hanging out. Yeah, do it again. Come, come back come again. Back. We'll, yes, we'll, I will. When you Soon. when you ain't busy. How's, you, how's your schedule tomorrow? I'm busy tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh yeah. Thursday. But Thursday. I will. I'll let you guys know. Yeah. Yay! So fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Open invitation. All right. So this has been Slick Rick. This is Tony. Tony. This has been a Tasca. Have a great evening, everyone. Take care. Be safe on the roads. The boys are out. Take care. Be good. Bye-bye. Noah Lazarus. Okay, okay. Here we go. I don't know what I'm doing, but I act like I know. Yeah, we gonna get it on tonight. I wear my shades in the dark. My idea's too bright. Yeah, you know what I like. Big eyes. We call that rice. It's boys night out, so turn your radio up right now. Happy Monday, Taco Tuesday, healthy game Wednesday. Come on, thing night, Thursday, yo. Every day's my birthday. Why, G, you know, stick with Tony, Tony. Boys night out, yo, I'm hanging with the homies. Hey, 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 hey. to some listeners and it's not recommended for a young audience. If you're easily offended, annoyed, or discovered that this radio show is just plainly stupid, tune into another station or go f*** yourself.